Hey guys, it's uh, Shadi Sfati, the art director at One Pixel Brush. Um, Eitan Zahn and I are going to do a workshop here in Santa Monica on November 14th, and I wanted to run through some of the basics of what we're going to talk about. I know a lot of times you go to these talks based on the reputation of the person and uh, the people involved who are giving it. You've seen their art, uh, you like their stuff, and you think, yeah, I'm going to go to this talk. But I think it would be nice to know a little more about who we are, what we're going to do, so that you can be sure that you're going to get your money's worth. Um, Aton and I have, of course, been in this industry for a really long time. Um, I art direct uh, a team of outstanding artists here at One Pixel Brush. We do work for tons of big IPs, small IPs, big clients, small clients, independent films, major movies, all kinds of stuff. So if you cycle through OnePixelBrush.com, you can see some of the work that we do as a studio. Um, this is all work I've art directed, not done myself. I've helped with a lot of it, um, but now I've transitioned out of doing concept art into art directing. So I'm gonna tell you a lot about what it takes to become a professional in the field, uh, how to get there, because my full-time job is getting artists to that level, uh, from okay or decent to absolutely pro. That's literally my full-time job, and that's what I'm going to be talking about and showing you guys as we're there. Aton is one of the best concept artists on the planet, in my opinion. Um, if you go through his blog, Easy Draws Blogspot, you can see some of his just unbelievable, beautiful, sexy outdoor paintings and just incredible concepts. And he's going to talk about the process for doing these. So together we're going to talk about two things. The, from an art director's perspective, what it takes, how to coach you to get there, and from an artist's perspective, what tools, tricks, specifics, hands-on, fundamentals you need to get there. Together we've worked on all kinds of stuff. I, of course, was at Naughty Dog 2, Last of Us, Uncharted 4. Worked, our companies worked quite a bit on The Division, on Treyarch's Call of Duty, on Infinity Ward's Call of Duties. Uh, um, we've worked with Boss Key, who, uh, Cliffy B Studio, who did Gears of War, started a studio, and we'll talk about some of the work we did for them. We've worked on Kickstarter campaigns, like one that just came out for Friday the 13th. Um, for this kind of stuff, we've done art, key art, to you know, sort of sell the project and to get people... Um, Money. I mean, this is a—it's an interesting field because when an image can, uh, you know, make you a couple hundred thousand dollars or help to, uh, it becomes a really valuable skill. Um, so we're here to teach you how to become a professional, how to make this a valuable skill for you, uh, something that will actually pay your bills, not just ideas about art, but where the art meets the production. At any time you want, you can uh, go here to uh, Zana Safadi Concept Art Masterclass, opbeventsquarepace.com, and you can click on Buy Tickets. If you click on Buy Tickets, it'll come here to uh, our Masterclass. The early bird tickets are on sale right now. They're 150 It's going to bump up to 180 at the end of the week. Um, totally worth it for a two-day class, in my opinion. Uh, first day, like I mentioned, we're going to talk about... Um, uh, in, in classroom stuff about what it takes to become a pro concept art. We're going to have live demos. Second day, we're going to go out in nature. So just to give you an idea, this is the uh, Broad stage we're going to be speaking at. Um, it's in Santa Monica. This is what the weather is like all the time. Uh, and global warming is making it worse. So I would say in mid-November, plan on it being like 80 degrees. Um, so it's a beautiful auditorium. We're actually here in the back in a pitch black room, but it's going to be a lot of fun. You can park anywhere out here. Um, and that's day one. I thought it'd be fun, too, to pull up, just for those of you who feel like you're going to visit from somewhere else and, and don't know the place, it gives you an idea of it. This is the Broad stage, and you know Google Earth has amazing uh, 3D maps, and you can see it's that far from the beach. So there's all kinds of stuff to do in this city, including uh, you know drive a Harley-Davidson up the highway up the coast. I mean, this is, there's incredible sunsets. There's an incredible park right here that overlooks the beach. You can see the cliffs. And day two, what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to Palisades Park, and there's some benches, and we're going to outdoor paint, slash look at portfolios. Aton's going to look at portfolios. I'm going to help people with their outdoor painting skills. Um, so I pulled that up as well, just so you can have a look. We're going to be meeting day two, just down the street, here on Ocean Avenue. And this park with these benches, we're going to all kind of gather around. There's going to be some old people playing chess, some quinceañeras, some birthday parties, and there's going to be us. And we're just going to kind of hang out have snacks, enjoy the beautiful weather, and uh, do some outdoor painting. The other thing I wanted to mention is uh, Aton's Gumroads. He's got a Gumroad series right here. Advanced Techniques, Color and Light, Graphic, Cowboy PSD, Titan PSD. Buy all these. If you're going to come to this and you're going to spend 150 bucks, you can spend this many dollars more. Buy and watch all of these and then get in touch with us and say, hey, those were cool. This is what I want to see further. 
or hey, I saw this already, now I want to see this. We're not in the business of telling you things that you already know about. We want to tell you new things. So if you have thoughts on it, um, get in touch with us. We also have here a list of the kinds of things we're going to discuss. I'm going to talk about those in a second, uh, but that's something to consider. One Pixel Brush has a One Pixel Brush Gumroad, Law of Increasing Awesomeness. This one doesn't have techniques. It's just some philosophies about art. It'd be good to, if you got a chance to watch that as well. Uh, you'll kind of be ahead of the game, and we'll start with some sort of common understanding of what we're going to discuss. The main structure of what we're going to talk about is this uh, law of increasing four zones of awesomeness, rather. Um, and it's about cheating, it's about sexiness, it's about classiness and storytellingness. This is a chart uh, that I made um, talking to my team, looking at concept art, thinking about concept art for the past 10 years. And these are, as close as we can do, break down the categories of what it takes to make it in concept art. And there's a lot of things in here that are obvious, things you might know but you need reminding. There's going to be a lot of things in here you may not know. There's going to be a lot of things in here that maybe some other people, other artists do differently, disagree with, have different philosophies. Um, but just to give you an idea of how it breaks down, okay, to get into the nitty gritty, just so there are no mysteries, this is the actual folder we're going to use to go through this talk. And here are all the different sections that we've organized, labeled out, and have plans to discuss. A lot of it is based on this chart. We're going to go around this chart and discuss. Um, for example, plein air adventures. We're going to talk about all the plein air trips we've gone on, what plein air painting is, how it, how it works and how it helps you with your lighting and your fog knowledge, how things contribute back to your actual concept art. Um, we're going to talk about stylized drawing, if people have interest in that, and cartoony type stuff. So let us know if that's something that you're interested in doing. We're going to talk about art done for that kind of uh, that kind of art, which is a lot different. The processes are a lot different than you do for realistic, but not as different as you might think. Not as different as you might think. Um, we're going to talk about basically stylization. I know we had some, uh, we had a, I had a painting that we did on the beach recently. Um, we're going to go through the process of that, this sand swamp painting. Uh, a lot of people said, hey, it looks like Ruo Lee. You know why? Guess why it looked like Ruo Lee? Because there was a Ruo Lee painting up in my file the entire time, along with the photo. So we'll talk about basically how this thing got built up, what the process is for building it up, and uh, how certain decisions were made. We're also going to do the same for, uh, which I think is you know, probably the most valuable part of the talk. Um, Aton is going to go through what he did, one of his old paintings, and basically how he put this together in 3D, what are the, all the crazy techniques that were used to kind of make this awesome, how many different iterations it went through at the end to kind of get the characters in an arrangement that he thought was cool for it. Um, separate from that, he's going to do another one of these paintings from scratch. Um, you're not going to finish it completely, but he's going to do a live demo, which to me is probably one of the most valuable things. So in our seven hours, probably at least two hours are going to be dedicated to him live demoing. We're going to get into Daz and how that affects your 3D art. Um, new programs like that. Modo, of course, how 3D is used in concept art all the time. You know, when we're doing some paintings that are like this, but when you're doing uh, production artwork, you're using a lot of 3D and what's involved with that. Um, and then at the end, we're going to just grab all your portfolios and have a look. Um, we're going to sit down and just talk about what can be added, what can be changed, because there's a real specific set of skills you need, a uh, real specific aesthetic you need to become a pro at certain companies. And so what we're going to be focused on is do you, we know how to get you a job at Naughty Dog, at One Pixel Brush, at, uh, at places that do the kind of concept art that we like and that we do. So if you're interested in that, that's going to be what we zero in on. Um, hope to see you there. Again, go to the Eventbrite. Tickets that are uh, on sale, early bird tickets, will be 150 for a little bit longer. You just click on Get Tickets, and that's it, early bird tickets. Then they'll be 180 Still a steal, in my opinion, uh, for the information that you're going to get. But uh, if you have any suggestions, any ideas, any thoughts, tell us what you want to see, tell us what you want to hear, what you want to know about, and we'll definitely get into it. All right? Thanks, guys.